Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Rail back with another motherfucking reaction, man. What's going on, y'all? I know, I know, I know. Don't even start. I promised y'all hella content, and I did not live up to that promise. All right, right now I'm feeling a little under the weather. Your boy got a COVID test tomorrow, so hopefully it's just a cold. It almost seems like codes don't exist. Like I thought it was just a cold. Like I was very confident that I just caught a little cold. It is fucking winter here in Chicago, but you know what I'm saying. My grandmother. And everybody else is like scaring shit out of me to go take a COVID test. So I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow. All right. But uh, I was feeling a little under the weather. But it was so much content I wanted to get done. And I've been doing so much. How could I, how could I forget the family? But anyway, this is not why you're here. Even though I'm pretty sure y'all telling me feel better real. Hope you're, I understand. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so T.I., Mr. Expeditiously himself, is now under some fire. Him and Tiny. So it was this chick. Uh, right here, Sabrina Peterson. She's accused him of several things. One, this was the woman who accused T.I. of putting a gun to her head when confronted about Tiny to him. So, like, if him and Tiny would be, Sabrina Peterson would uh, go hard at T.I. and then that would make T.I. put a gun to her head. Okay, I mean, I don't know. That seems a little crazy. I, I'm Look, y'all know I don't never call nobody no liar. I don't know shit. I just what they want to share on the social media. Like, okay, so this this is the first part of Sabrina Peterson, right? Uh, this now it then um it turned into some sex shit. Like quickly, it went from the gun to the head. Toya defended him, saying my husband would never do that. And then so Sabrina then double backs, and she comes even harder. Uh, so let's hear what her newest thing is toward T.I. like woo do tell your story don't lie and don't be scared like your face I, isn't on this at all yes it, it's just so much has happened and then it's like I was roofy so a lot of the, a lot of shit that happened I don't remember how were you and where were you at I was 16 and I went to some, um, like, it's like a building, but it was a studio above that. And I went there with a guy named Brandon. Mm -hmm. And um, he was supposed to let me meet Tip because, you know, Tip, I think Tip was thinking about starting his label. And he. Okay, first, let me give a little context to this. Sabrina's on the phone with somebody, with a lady who allegedly was drugged and taken advantage of by either T.I. or his uh, associates, okay? So this is who she's on the phone with, in case y'all was, like, confused. Like, they just jump right into this shit. So it's like... I mean, to me, to, I was nervous then, too. He gave me a drink. Like, he asked me, did I want a drink? I told him, yeah, he gave me the drink. It was like a little shot. I, I remember it. Like, it was like a little shot. I took, I, I took the shot. And after I took the shot, like... Almost 15, 20 minutes later, I, it was like I was woozy. Like, I I started losing, like, like mobility. Like, I couldn't fully function. Um, I remember sitting on it. They had, like, a little couch. I was sitting on the couch. At first, it was just me and that guy. Um, and then I passed out. And it was like, you know how... Like, you can pass out, and then I pop back up, and it was, like, him and two other dudes. Who was him and two other dudes? So, it was Brandon, and I don't know who the other two men were. Still, to this day, I don't know who those two men were. So, where was Tip when all this was happening? He, he was in a room on the other side of us, so it was, like, a hall, and it was... It, okay, so, you know how an apartment building is, like, three different halls like like the build of an apartment building where it's like a hallway in different apartment buildings it was like we were in one room but i was waiting on tip like i was supposed to be singing for him giving him my demo i was supposed to be meeting him did he know that did, did he see you take a drink or was he did you did you ever encounter him at all so on the way out it was like i met him but I didn't get a chance to like sit and fully talk with him. But you know, him and him and the guy did like a high five, and he was like, "Y'all wild." And he said, "Y'all wild." 
Okay, so what I'm gathering, if y'all can't hear, I don't know if y'all can, I don't know how good the audio is. So apparently this chick is 16. She, they, Brandon, whoever that is, brought her to meet T.I. So T.I.'s not around them from what I'm gathering. And they roofied her drink, right? This is all alleged. So they roofied her drink. She took one shot. She was in and out of consciousness. She woke up. She seen Brandon. That's the only person she can remember. Don't know who the other two dudes is. Now that Sabrina is trying to work it out of her to see what T.I. is. So what I've gathered is T.I., if she got it set up in my brain, how I'm hearing, it's like an apartment. So she's in one room and T.I. somewhere off into a whole nother room. Ain't got nothing to do with anything in this situation right here. And then when she does meet T.I., it's some parting words on her way out. Where she looks and sees that T.I. high-fiving the nigga that, uh, I guess, allegedly raped her. And high five to say y'all wild. Okay. Rachel? Who say y'all wild? Now, see, what I don't like, right, is this face where she says, so T.I. said y'all wild um, after you was raped. He said, y'all wild. And then she does his face like, oh, unbelievable. But I mean, I understand she she's on the the the, the tear them down like tour, right? T.I. and Tiny. She's coming for them. But anybody that's listened to the story would know that T.I. has no idea who this chick is, nor does he knows her age. Now, from where he's sitting in the office... Brandon could have told me anything like, yeah, this is a little honey or something that we, we just got through smashing up in there. And T.I. like, man, y'all wild. You know what I'm saying? There was no, it didn't seem like there was immediate danger on the outside of the room. He don't know shit. He's coming into the situation. She ain't scream for help. She ain't, you know what I'm saying, approach him like, yo, these niggas just wild on me. So. Oh, how were you when this happened? Like, what year was this? I was 16 and this was, I want to say the was it 2011? I know because the only reason I know it had to be, it was 2011. And Tip had just, I think he just got out of jail or he was just about to go to jail. One of those. Because I remember the guy talking about it. That they, um. I called my mom and my mom actually flew to Atlanta. And they made my mom sign the paper, but the guy explained to me that the paper was just because I was around such a high profile celebrity. Anything that happened with that, so like around surrounding that celebrity, I couldn't talk. So he made me and my mother sign the paper. All right, we're going to get the last word from my good brother, Tip, and then we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. They, This is all over the place. They calling this shit Surviving T.I. and Tiny. That's just too much. That's unnecessary. All right. So I think that that has to be distinguished. First and foremost, I want to say my wife, my wife is a beautiful person with an amazing spirit and a kind heart. She's a devoted mother and she has a humble soul. She don't deserve it. She don't deserve it. Uh, now, what we're not going to do is open up the door to my bedroom, as you shouldn't have to either. Open up the door to my bedroom for everybody to come in, chime in, and make their opinions about what we do and don't do or should or shouldn't do. But I will say this. That's true. Whatever we ever have done has been done with consensual adults who into what we into and like what we like. If we want something, we know exactly where to go to get it. Mm -hmm. We ain't never forced nobody. We ain't never drugged nobody against their will. We ain't never held nobody against their will. We ain't never made nobody do anything. We ain't never trafficked anything. Well, sexually trafficked. Duh. See what you did there, too. Um, huh? Clever. I ain't never raped nobody. Never raped nobody. Also, I'm going to tell you what's, um, what's factual. I'm tell you what's factual. There have been fake stories put up that blog sites uh, uh, anonymously sent to this person. Blog sites anonymously sent fake stories to this person, and the person posted it as though it was a victim, that they were sure that it was a victim and it had been victimized. And what does what this does is it it, 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 it it dismantles the mechanism that women have created for themselves. You can't weaponize something un, like, un, like, 
wait, wait, wait. That nigga said it dismantles the mechanism of what the women then fought with the machine. That nigga, he know he would throw some words together. He like old boy off uh T.I. remind me of uh, old boy off in Living Color. We just be throwing work like do we just be saying a bunch of shit? Like he put a bunch of big words together, but they don't go together. I just don't. I don't understand why he had to throw disabling mechanism. Sound like this nigga's defusing a bomb or something like. But I, okay, continue, Tia. I'm sorry. These claims. These are th- these are not stories of actual events. They're not. And I have proof of that. And that's why I said it. I have proof of that. I have proof of. And people- there we can stop it there. T.I. said he ain't raped nobody, he ain't drugged nobody. Everything him and Tiny did in the bedroom with other adults was consensual. And it ain't none of y'all business, ain't none of our business anyway. And and that's T.I. side. I mean, for one, this is the this is the problem, right? When you uh a, a famous person or you you in the social medias or you you know what I'm saying, you you're a wealthy person, you're whatever. It because if this was all, I would assume, not all the times, but if it was real merit on this, it'd be some, it'd be some uh, court shit, it'd be some police involvement, it'd be something. Nowadays, all anybody got to do is make an allegation. All anybody got to do is say what you have done, whether it be true or not, and you leave it up to social media to decide, to decide your fate. You know what I'm saying? Because there's going to be people that see all this and be like, I still think T.I. did it. Or I think Tiny and them nasty. They up to something. They sexually try. It's not. It's nothing you could tell certain people. And that's the problem. And then if T.I. is able to prove all of this, that he did nothing wrong, he had him and Tiny are completely, it don't matter because the way people are covering it ain't the same energy as when it gets found out that it's all a lie. It's like, we'll all blow this up out of proportion. But then when the truth finally comes out, that shit is not page one. They hid that somewhere else and we never speak about it again. And for people who didn't see that the proof was there in the slide, it's like, I don't care. I still know they up to something dirty, up to something nasty. That's why you got to just, I don't know, man. You got to move better. Limit the number of people you got in the bedroom who know your business. Stop telling people your business. God damn. Stop. The less people that know, like, that, it's just, if you you got to do everything in this day and age with all these phones and cameras and shit. Like, you're a criminal. Even if you're not doing them wrong, you got to treat it like a criminal. You don't take a bunch of people on a heist. There's just more people to get caught. You know what I'm saying? You don't take your phones with you on a heist. There's just more evidence you can leave. You got to do things as solo and with and, and just total, like, anonymity as possible. Like, you just got to lay low. Watch your circle. You know what I'm saying? But with that, man, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going back to watch Your Honor because I'm about to make a video right after this, posting what uh, episode one of Your Honor, man. But with this, man, y'all, hey, look, I love y'all, man. Y'all take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Protect black women is the message. All right, T.I. said that same shit in this in this video. I, I want to make sure I give him his props on that. But, yes, protect black women, period. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I just, it's just sad. It's all unnecessary. Uh, But yeah, man. That's your boy Real, and I'm out. Peace.